Hi and welcome to this um, flow rhythm tutorial. I, uh, I recently had a question from a, a, a viewer um, related to flow rhythm. Here's the question. Um, it's specifically about making a magic eight ball. Now I'm going to guess that this is a, a student or a, a college student who's got some homework to complete because it's very specific. So I'm not going to give an exact answer. Um, I'll give enough information for you to be able to solve the problem. But I thought rather than just looking at the magic eight ball, we could look at three different uh, ways of solving the magic eight ball problem. Um, so this is my my first solution for magic eight ball. Um, all I'm doing here, I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. This would be what I would call us or like a basic um, selection of ifs. So we've got our, our number here. We're, we're generating our random number, and all I've got is if the random number is zero, I've got that response. If it's a one, I've got that response. All the way down. It's doing nothing else. I'm not doing anything clever with it. Um, I've got a random number between 0 and 8, which means my outputs are going to be 0 through 7, as you can see, and then these would be my responses, so this would be it's decidedly so, and so on would be filled in here. And if we run through it, I get response 8 or response 6, so it could be yes for sure, or definitely not, or, or whatever com comments you want to put in. So that's a dead simple way of doing it. It's very dirty, lots of if statements, um, becomes quite complicated. As, as you build it up. Um, the next version I put together, um, oh dear, just crashed. Let's try that one there. Okay, so this is the next version I put together, and this is um, the same idea, but it uses uh, a nested if. So if you were if you're writing things in Python, this would be you doing your if, elif, and and so on, where you're nesting your ifs together. So I've got the same bit here, the random number. There's the checking the number. If it's true, outputs a response. If it's not true, it then checks number two. If it's not true, number three, and and so on. So this is a like a, a nested if. Um, Nested ifs make it a little bit easier to uh, to keep track of what's going on, but to be fair, it's not really the way I would have written it um, in Python or any programming language. But it's an alternative method that you can use. So each uh, first check done. If it's true, you do something. If not, you check the next one, and you just keep nesting that inside each other. Um, like if I zoom out a little bit, you can get a better idea of of how it all looks. That's again, that's not too bad. And I thought, well, what would I do if I was using Python and I think the uh, or any other programming language? I think what we'd probably do is use an array um, or in Python a list. So I've done the magic eight ball solution as a as a as an array in this program as well. So I've got my array version. So first step, as you can see already, it looks a lot simpler. So the first step is there's my integer number, there's my string. Okay, now this time this is my string called response. It's an array. It's an array of size um, eight, um, containing strings, which means it's going to contain um, eight different items, index starting at zero, going through to seven, and I've called it response. Um, in Flowgrithm, you have to do, you have to assign each variable. So what I've done is I've I've given an assignment. So response at position zero is that one, position one, position two, position three, and so on. And again, I've not put the comments in. You can put in whatever comments that you want for your magic eight ball. Um, once this bit here is the bit that actually does the work so there's the random number then it's going to pick a number between 0 and 7 and it's just going to output the response um, from whatever number it is so it goes to output goes to response so it goes to the uh, array response it goes to the position the index number let's, let's say it's 7 so response 7 it will say 8 which I've spelled wrong uh, response so that's a much simpler way of doing the um, the magic eight ball and actually if you were doing this in Python it wouldn't even look as, as, as complicated and as dirty as this because this bit here where you're generating um, your array would just be almost a single line where you do, do, you, where you do your declaration so it's nice and straightforward and if you run it just to prove it still works okay fifth response sixth response eighth first and so on okay so three uh, different ways that you can look at the magic eight ball solution so uh, version number one our basic version, 
just using um, a set of for loops for loops my apologies a set of um, if statements first if second if just checking each time and um, second version using uh, nested uh, if statements again so it's the same idea but each if is nested inside the false of the previous one and finally probably the way I would do it if I was writing it as a proper program in, in Python or C uh, let's pop that back open again um, the array version okay doing it as an array which makes much more sense or in Python it will be called a list so I hope that's answered your question I hope you find that useful um, put it together have a crack